So this lab, we are going to host a simple website on AWS S3 uh, service. So we will create an HTML. Actually, we are going to create several HTML files, and we are going to upload that one to S3. And we are going to host that HTML files as a static website on S3. So let's sign into our AWS Educate account. And next, let's go to the classroom, as we always did, um, and find out this class. Let's continue. And here you can see the console, and you can see how many credits are still available. Uh, so yeah, that's that should be enough. And next, let's go to AWS console. Uh, so first, let's create some HTML files. Uh, so you can use either Cloud9 or you can use SageMaker. Again, Cloud9 probably is uh, is uh, the one that is preferred. But SageMaker, since we have already been using SageMaker for this entire semester, so let's continue using SageMaker. So we go to our uh, created instance. Uh, you can see it is still in service because I didn't stop that one after the lecture. So uh, if you are not going to use instance for a longer time period, so I highly recommend you stop, uh, stop the uh, instance uh, promptly. Uh, before we open the uh, Jupyter, so the best practice is that we always synchronize with our GitHub first. So just in case, uh, to make sure that we um, are using the latest version so here I, I don't think i have any change so if i did git git pull and you can see there's nothing being changed which is great and next let's open the jupyter uh, so here we are going to create um uh, several files so before we create a new file so let's first upload the image that we need uh for this uh lab so theoretically you can use any image but I'm going to use image that I downloaded from Canvas, and the next I'm going to upload to SageMaker. So I click Upload, and I already downloaded to my Downloads folder, so I just upload from my Downloads folder. And you can now give change the name, so I don't need to change it, so I just say Upload. So now this is my image. Uh, next, I'm going to create an index.html file. So I create new. Uh, I choose a text file. Okay, and I say save it and close it. So I need to change. Uh, let's create the other three too. So let's create the second text file and save it. And let's create the third text file and save it. Okay. Uh, again, it is not uh, SageMaker is not the best choice, but we can still use that one very efficiently. So for the first one, let's rename this one to be index.html. So that will be our index. Uh, for the second one, let's rename that one called error.html. So this will be the page that just in case there are some errors in our uh, websites and we can use this error page to uh, do, to handle those potential errors. For example, you can tell who should you contact with if you see some errors. The last one, last, last one will be a, a text file, but it will be the robots dot text file. So that is the one that used to um, to direct how the search engines, uh, robots crawlers should uh, handle your uh, website. Okay. Uh, next, let's open the index. So let's add it to the index. Okay. So here uh, you can see it recognizes HTML. So that's great. Um, as we mentioned from during our lecture, so the HTML code should, us, should start by declare um, the type. And also we should have a pair of the HTML tag. 
Okay, we also need the pair of the HTML tag. Okay, and let's define the header part. And let's give the title. Um, I340. And let's finish the head. Uh, you can give it some indentations so that we can see the structure uh, easier. Uh, it is also up to you see if you want to define the styles, etc. Um, so here let's use our style that we used in the lecture, which are very too simple, very style. Which is also should be within the header. Okay, uh, so here we define a style that uh, a style that the for the DRV style that the background color will be white, a black, and also the color will be white of the text. We also define a span style. See, we see that the uh, the color will be red. Okay. Uh, next, let's define our body. Okay, and first let's give it a title heading. So this is data mining class. Okay, uh, and next, um, as we required on the uh, instruction that we should have two tags, DRV tag. Okay, so let's say the first DRV tag. So DRV tag is one that used to uh, distinguish or to organize your your, uh, your elements or your, the other tags. And I gave it an ID. This one equals uh, div1. Okay, so that will be our the first div tag. And let me copy and paste that one so that I will have a second DRV tag very fast, and I call it DRV2. Okay. Uh, within the first DRV tag, uh, let's create a short paragraph. Okay, so here I'm using H2 level. So here we are going to, to tell something about this class. Uh, so I will say, okay, the goal of this class. Um, here I'm going to uh, add a list so that will list all the objectives of this class. So um, I'm going to use an ordered list. And within that ordered list for each element, I'm going to type the, uh, those objectives. Okay, so I just copy and paste from the, the syllabus. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, and so I just copy and paste the, the other objective here. Um, let's also add uh, the other information like the Instructor. So I put that one outside of the DRV tag. And let's also add an URL. So let's see um, my website is, and here we are going to use an A tag where href equals okay and also the visible part will also be the uh, website name and also I finish that p tag um, let's also add an image for this 
uh, class. So let's say image source equals. Okay, and remember that our image is here. So because that's in the same folder, so let's just copy uh, the name. Okay, um, so pay attention that there should be lowercase p. Um, uh, if you want to apply the style, uh, feel free to do that. So for example, here we can say class equals um, the, the one that we defined, the DRV tag. DIV style. Okay, and we can preview the HTML. So if we click that one in SageMaker and you see view. Okay, uh, looks like it's, everything is fine and the URL should work. So if you right click, uh, you can see, yeah, my website now is turned down. So that is correct. Uh, the image is not showing up here. Uh, that is because we are now viewing that on SageMaker. So it cannot be showed directly, so but later on, so it will be displayed correctly. Okay, uh, so based on our requirement, so for our second DRV tag, we also need uh, uh, the paragraph with headings, so H2. Um, for this part, uh, so let's put our schedule, so uh, because it also requires um, a table, so. Uh, Let's see, schedule. So here we are going to define the table. And within each table, so let's first define the first row. So And here we can see the header. So for the first header, uh, I call it date. And for the second header, uh, I call it topic. Okay, so that's the first row. So let's define a very simple row. And for the second row, So now it is the cell. So TD, uh, I call it week one. And the topic, uh, database. Okay, and I'm going to finish uh, this row. Okay, I'm going to save it. And just to make sure I, I want to view it, see that the table is working. Okay, uh, it is working. However, that we, we kind of cannot see the, <laughs> the the border of table, which you can, we can specify that border equals, let's say one. Okay, uh, so now we have a border, okay. Uh, so that is our index. Uh, we can now close this one. Uh, next, let's edit our arrow. So let's check arrow and also edit. Okay. So the arrow page is pretty simple. So here you can say I just copied the header uh, from the index and I ch change the title to arrow. And also I keep the same style. And here in the body, I say h1, this is an and here I'm going to use the span tag class equals span style. Okay, and I close span and I close h1. Okay, um, and and normally you can also specify that how you want handle errors. So let's say Please, content 
someone to report this error. And here I'm going to provide the URL that is the email. So for this email, I'm going to use an A tag, uh, href equals mail, mail to, um, mail to, and here you can type your email, so for example, my Gmail. Okay. This email. And I close this A tag. Okay. Uh, and now you can see that some uh, tags have the red color, so that is in most cases that mean in most cases that indicate uh, an error in your HTML code. So if you uh, double check your HTML code here, you can see a misses slash. So now I click save it. I tap the slash and I'll save it. So it's a very simple um, um, HTML code. So now if I check error and I say view it. Okay, so this error and also please contact this e email. And if you click this e email, that will open you um, your mail software and also will direct you to mail to send email to their specific address. Okay, uh, our last one is uh, robust.txt file. So let's edit that one. Uh, there are a lot of resources where you can find out how to um, write a robot.txt file. So, for example, here, uh, this is some example from Google. Uh, basically, for, for example, uh, let's use a second group. So that is that for all the agents, you, you are allowed to crawl this website. Okay, that's that. That works for our website. So we just say, okay, for all the agents, you are allowed to crawl this website. Okay, and we save it. Okay, and next, so let's make sure that we can upload everything to our GitHub. Okay, uh, check everything. And so that is lab. Uh, fine. And also don't forget to push it. Okay. So now if we go to our GitHub, uh, and if we go to our repository of this class, and we can see our error HTML index, robots, and also logo files are all here. Okay, uh, so you can download those files to your local computer and next we're going to upload it to an S3 bucket. So for example, if for this index, uh, you can just simply right click the raw and also save the link as. Or another way is that you can go to the uh, CityMaker and you can download those stuff like robots, uh, index, errors, and also uh, if you already have that on your local computer, you don't need to download that one. So you can select those stuff and also download. Uh, looks like you can only down you can download only download one by one. So let me download the first one. And let me download the index. And also let me download the error. Okay, so now in your, in your local computer, you should have those uh, four files, the arrow HTML, the index HTML, uh, the logo, and also robots.txt file. Uh, if you view those files on your local computer, so that will, uh, your browser will open those HTML files. Uh, you can see that now the image is displayed uh, correctly. And if you click this URL, so that will direct you to my website, uh, which is currently under construction. And also you can see the others are working pretty good. Um, although you can customize the color, the style, 
and also content on your own. So, and also it's the error page. We can see that uh, it also works fine. And this is uh, a robust.txt file. That's also right. Okay, so once we have those files ready, so we no longer need the SageMaker. So uh, we can close the SageMaker and also we can turn off our instance, uh, notebook instance, so that we can save the cost. And while well, this is uh, stopping, so we can go to our next service, which is called S3. So if you go to S3, and the first one, S3, uh, we don't, we are not going to use S3 Glacier, we just use S3. And S3 is the online storage that AWS provided, and it is also the resolution, the solution for uh, data lake. So uh, later on, so we will talk about data lake and we will also dive into detail about S3. So here we are going to create a bucket on S3. A bucket is kind of the uh, physical organizer, logic organizer of our uh, data. So we want to put all the data into the same bucket uh, for this website. So let's create a bucket. And the bucket has to be globally unique, I think. So um, let's see, I, and you have to be unique. Um, demo 2020, see if we can use that bucket name. Okay, great, yes, we can use that bucket name, that's great. Uh, on the second part, the properties, uh, let's keep everything as a default. Um, so there, for example, do you want to encrypt your data and also do you want to keep all the versions of your data? Uh, so we just keep everything as a default. Next, so do you want block black, uh, public access? We see no. Okay, we see no because um, we want this one to be accessible to public. And I also acknowledge the risk. And next. Okay, so the, here we will have a review that, okay, so everything that we just selected. Most importantly, that we do not block the public access. And we create this bucket. So now we have a bucket that has been created. Uh, so let's click this bucket. And here, let's, let's upload the data first. So let's see, click Upload. And we can add files, or you can just drag files, just as you are using OneDrive or Dropbox or, or Google Drive. So you can either drag all the files here, or you can just click Add Files. So let me drag all those four files. And I see Upload. Okay, and now you can see all the files has been uploaded. Okay, uh, so now we have the uh, bucket that in S3, um, it, is, it is, does not uh, block public access, but still not everyone can access those HTML, and also not everyone can access this one as a um, website. So here we are going to uh, change the properties let's first change the properties and you can see that we can this one is disabled static website hosting so let's enable that one so we use this bucket to host the website and here they are asking the index files so that is default one so we already have index file so we just we don't need to change the name and also how do you want to handle errors uh, the, we have the errors.html, so we don't need to change the name. Uh, looks like we still need to type that one. So dx.html, and also this is error.html, okay. And we click save. Okay, uh, so now this one has been uh, um, enabled as a public host. Uh, so if you click this URL of the endpoint, um, I don't think we can access that one. So let's try it. Okay, you can see that the forbidden uh, is the access was denied. And that is because although we don't block the 
the public access and also although we do host this website as a static website, we still need to give the permission to do that. So that is go to permission and go to the bucket policy. So we have to specify the bucket policy that we do allow uh, public access to this market. So here, if we go to the AWS S3 document, the developer guide, um, and if we go down, they provide the policy that allow us to access the bucket. Uh, so they give our policy template. Uh, we need to change this one to the bucket name. So let's say we copy this policy. And we go back to our policy here. We paste that policy. And also remember, we do need to change this example.com to our bucket name. So let's copy the bucket name and uh, replace that one, replace the exam. And as we see, okay. Uh, so now you can see that the bucket permission, now we have this uh, yellow public icon. So that means this website is not public. Okay. Uh, so now if we go back to this URL, so here you can see the our bucket name um, and also our S3 region and also amazonaws.com. So now let's click this one. Okay, so now we have our first website that we created, which has a title. You can see here the title is not showing up. Um, and also the headings, the headers, the uh, Live one heading, and also we have the, the other two uh, DRV tags, etc. And if you type something wrong on this website, so for example, if you type something not exist, then you will be directed to this error page. Okay, so that uh, 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 and the web, the website will tell you, okay, so this is error and you should contact this email. And if we want to check the robots.txt file, and you can see, okay, so this website does uh, support the public, uh, does allow you to crawl the website because there, there's only just one single page. Okay, uh, so let me say it one more time so that to find out the URL, you go to your First, you have to make sure that this is public. You should, you do should have this public icon. And uh, if you want to find out the URL, you should go to properties and the static web hosting. And you can see this endpoint is that public URL. Okay. And uh, when, every time when you click, you will have this very, very long URL. And in my another video that I, I, I showed, I create, um, uh, on my on my another video, I have a, a, a concise version of this tutorial, which I show that how you can create a CloudFront service that you can distribute your website to um, the other regions more faster. So if you're interested, you can just check my another tutorial. For this lab, uh, for this very simple web page, it is not necessary. And also, if you want to register your own domain, so you can use any other domain services uh, like GoDaddy. And also, AWS also has its own domain service where that you can also register your own domain. So if you don't want this very, very long domain name.